welcome to another episode of uh, Avarian Post, which is now rebranded uh, into Avarian Mail to be a little bit, a tiny bit less English and more English. Uh, so I've got this little package, actually, probably it's better to say packet uh, at this point uh, from China, from eBay, and uh, inside of it another little packet with a little capture device, extremely cheap, not very well built uh, if we are talking about uh, actual uh, case and physical qualities. So inside of it you have obviously uh, the device itself, it accepts uh, composite video, uh, stereo audio, left and right channels, or uh, S video, which I don't have, uh, but I am going to use it with uh, my Famiclone sort of console, Famicom clone, and uh, yeah, it just plugs into your USB 2.0 port or higher, and uh, you use it, uh, yeah, it's not very well uh, uh, built uh, case, you can say that yeah, probably can see that it's not uh, uh, that uh, well glued together, but it holds up and uh, while well, it heats up quite a bit, it's not super hot, so I guess if I'll use it just like 20-30 uh, uh, minutes in a row, it will be just fine, maybe I will not have any problems with it whatsoever, of course, the quality is not ideal, uh, the quality of the image, but uh, then again I can't uh, say, uh, uh, can't give you uh, like 100% uh, precise review, because I don't have ideal device uh, to output signal uh, from, because, uh, you know, Famiclone is not uh, uh, that uh, extremely uh, good and well built uh, too, so that may be that problem. Uh, are there and you have this little cable extension which I don't need because my uh, case, uh, my PC case is literally underneath my table, so that's like one feet away. Uh, the cable is more than enough. Here's your software disk uh, with drivers and uh, uh, stuff like that. Uh, obviously, you may need it, but in my case, with Windows 7, uh, my Windows 7 64 bit version. Uh, just uh, automatically installed the driver from uh, internet, from Microsoft base, so yeah, it works perfectly fine and I haven't noticed any difference in between uh, uh, this official driver and the uh, Microsoft driver. So here it is, my little uh, Famiclone, which is actually a clone of a clone, because I don't think uh, uh, this uh, Junior branded uh, console it's actual, uh, actually made by those guys who were making, well, not really making, because they were just uh, importing it from uh, Taiwan, I believe, or China. So, yeah, that's like zero production, zero development, uh, pretty much just uh, distribution and uh, somewhat of uh, localization and uh, uh, some guarantee service. So, if it dies, at least you could replace it with another one that will probably die in a month or two. But yeah, anyway, it has 104 games in it, uh, almost no problems. I noticed one little problem with Battle City, which is kind of a tanks game, uh, where it doesn't display correctly menu, but uh, you can get through it nevertheless. And yeah, the problem is that uh, you have a composite output uh, for video and you have a mono audio, that means uh, that you only have one channel in left or right ear of yours, which is not exactly amazing, so if I decide uh, uh, to stream uh, from this device or its content, I would need uh, something, something like uh, this little uh, cable splitter, uh, so I could uh, connect uh, the same audio channel, uh, this one, white cable, uh, to both uh, channels uh, of uh, my capture device, because, yeah, you can do that in post, but uh, OBS uh, doesn't uh, yet support spanning for audio, so, yeah, you can't really do that live with that. But uh, let's test it. So, let's turn this guy on and uh, check out how it runs. 
here's the picture as you can see maybe you can see that uh, it's kind of wavy uh, I mean pixels are staying on the same place but you can see that it's kind of pulsating a little bit but it's not too annoying I guess and of course that's uh, just a, a composite uh, signal uh, you also hear a little humming noise which is produced by uh, this little chip uh, uh, console so yeah let's play something I can tell you that uh, delay is minimal so you can actually play just uh, from uh, this picture on uh, uh, video capture program in this case OBS open broadcaster software so maybe Arkanoid now that I'm an amazing Arkanoid player let me see if I can pass through the first level or not like yeah when I move it to the right it moves to the right and it's mostly okay of course you can see this picture is uh, I think actually interlaced so it's kind of scrolling in not an ideal way but uh, that's a funny clone so what else can you really expect from that It's totally playable uh, from the speed standpoint. Yeah, let's try not to die. And multiple balls are not necessarily amazing because uh, I tend to move them uh, pretty quickly. And it's a wonder that I still have two of them. Probably not for long. Yeah, last one, and uh, let's try not to lose this one, at least for a minute or so. What's that? Oh yeah, that's totally a good prize, a good upgrade. <laughs> Bouncing to enemies. On the spectrum. In Bati, which was kind of Arkanoid clone, probably, you had a price that uh, would let you uh, level up without actually breaking all the blocks. Oh yeah, of course, I'm dead. Well, let's play something else. So, reset. And uh, what else? Oh, I can show you this Battle City bug. Like here it uh, shows you for like a split of a second uh, the menu and then it just... Uh, yeah. I don't show anything but the game itself working. But I don't like controls in this game. It kind of tends to be sleepy. And uh, yeah, it's uh, kind of classic but at the same time... Yeah, I'm not an amazing uh, Battle City player. Even less amazing than compared to Arkanoid, perhaps. Because uh, your flag is not really protected by anything. Almost. And uh, the idea is that you have to kill enough tanks. As you can see, black tanks on the top uh, right. That's uh, amount of uh, tanks to spawn, and they uh, to have to kill you or your flag, and they don't have their flag, so it's kind of uh, kind of unfair, in my opinion. Can I? Yeah, I totally can. I don't remember what it does. But yeah, game over, and maybe one more game. Some of classics as well, Gaga, Galaxian, and stuff like that, but uh, maybe uh, Bomberman. 
What do you think? Obviously, I will clone audio channels in our post processing so you would actually uh, able to hear the sound uh, properly without uh, it annoying you too much. Ooh, yeah, I'm dead. Well, since it was so quickly, I just uh, take another life. Here you don't have to be kinda pixel perfect exactly, but at the same time you still sometimes get to stuck a lot when you try to go in between all those blocks. At least I had this problem. Obviously, it would be nice to have some sort of uh, device which produces a uh, composite uh, signal of uh, decent quality, so uh, you could say that if uh, the quality is terrible, it's not because of uh, device, but because of uh, capture uh, part of the process, not because of ge video generation part of the process, but yeah, I have what I have and uh, this is how my funny clone looks like. Maybe I'll be able to quickly plug it to my CRT TV and uh, cut somewhere in uh, this part of the video with like Bomberman, so we can compare how it looks on CRT TV. Well, first of all, as you can probably down here, uh, yeah, that terrible noise is actually produced by Famiclone, so uh, sound issue uh, regarding uh, humming noise is uh, unrelated uh, to my super cheap ultra ultra low budget uh, capture device. Uh, it's not a device's problem, it's problem of uh, uh, this little, yeah, you can really see it, uh, but yeah, this little brick uh, of a dandy sort of Famiclone uh, system, and if I will actually lower uh, the volume, I lowered uh, the volume slightly, so it would be less annoying, and uh, yeah, let's play Bomberman. As you can see here it's super super blurry, uh, so uh, you can't really see those lines, I think, that's why, uh, that you could see uh, on uh, capture device footage. So it's totally not a problem and uh, I can't really see any waviness, so maybe waviness is actually a deal with uh, this capture device. Or of uh, how it is uh, interpreting the signal. You can adjust uh, some parameters, like uh, uh, red green blue levels, brightness and uh, stuff like that, sharpness. So I guess you can make it slightly blurrier to cover uh, pixels, to cover this uh, scrolling, as you can see when you uh, like move to the side, it really becomes uh, split in tiny tiny lines, which doesn't look too amazing. Actually I could do, or I could try to do that just now. With, uh, yeah, some sort of settings. Configure reader and uh, let's see. 
how does that look if I set uh, sharpness to minimum okay I'm not sure if it's better it's a bit blurrier but it doesn't really fix uh, this lines issue so I guess it's just uh, interlaced uh, video output. But yeah, this one uh, cost me, I think, about uh, 3.6 something pounds, about 5 bucks. Free shipping. Uh, so, of course, it's not ideal, but the device is kind of decent for what it is. If you want to have uh, some sort of genuine experience from your old uh, console, I guess that's not a terrible way. Other than that, it's obviously easier uh, to use uh, an emulator, which is free, and ROMs from internet, which are not exactly copyright friendly, but yeah, no. No one will kill you. Uh, because. Uh, of you downloading some rooms. So tell me what you think. That was uh, UTV007 Easy Cup sort of clone, no name. Came with just in that uh, plastic bag that I showed you. Uh, there was no proper packaging. But to my amusement and surprise, it actually works. And the picture is kind of okayish. Thanks for watching and see you later.